Hi everyone, my name is Alex. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Today's video is going to be just a little bit different. I know that the summertime is coming up very fast and even though I really do encourage wearing sunscreen all year round, no matter how cold, no matter how warm the temperature is. I also believe in trying out new sunscreens and I feel like that the summertime is the perfect time to do that because that's usually when you're out and spending a lot of time in the sun. So with that being said, I want to start out by giving a huge thank you to Stylevana for sponsoring this video. Still can't believe I'm saying that, that's crazy. <laughs> I was sent five new sunscreens by Stylevana to to try out for this video. I have had the opportunity to try out all five of these sunscreens and I am very excited to tell you about them. First, let me talk about Stylevana. Stylevana has so many skincare products. They have something for everybody. They have a lot of Korean and Japanese based skincare, which may I just say, especially after trying out these sunscreens, their skincare technology is so advanced. It's so amazing. Truly, they make some of the best skincare products out there. So that was why when Stylevana reached out to me and told me that they were going to send me these products, I was like, oh my gosh, like, of course. I don't know what I did to deserve this, but I'm really grateful for this opportunity. So thank you so much to Stylevana. I do also have a code with Stylevana that you can get 10% off your entire order. And you also get an additional 15% off your order if you spend $59 or more in US dollars. My code is INF10ALEXG. It will also be in the description and on somewhere in the video. Let's go ahead and jump right into this video. I have kind of organized these sunscreens, trying out five sunscreens for one video. My last two brain cells are really fighting to keep this completely organized, I'm not gonna lie. So I did take down a very specific bullet point list on each sunscreen and why I liked it. I first wanna say I didn't dislike any of these sunscreens, I just definitely had a preference. And so with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and start with my favorite sunscreen that I tried from the five that were sent to me, and that would be the Peslo Safe Recipe Sun Essence SPF 50. One reason why I enjoyed this sunscreen so much was because it was very moisturizing. It does have an essential oil in it, so if you are sensitive to that, that is just something to be mindful of. But the scent was not overpowering. It was very lightweight. I really love how it feels on the skin. Me personally, I prefer very hydrating sunscreens, and I really feel like that it did a great job at providing a nice level of hydration to the skin. The ingredient list is amazing. I have it pulled up right here, and I use a website called INCI Decoder, which pretty much is for people who may not know a lot about skincare ingredients. It mainly tells you what type of ingredients are really good and what type of ingredients you kind of want to avoid. It's not that they're bad, they're just could be sensitizing ingredients. This product has so many green little check marks beside it. This sunscreen was very lightweight, but it was very moisturizing. It provided a nice glow to my skin even within 12 hours after using it. I did like that it was very nice to reapply. It is also mineral and even though it has titanium dioxide in it, I didn't experience any new acne with it. This one provided my skin with a nice level of hydration without clogging my pores, which can be rare for some mineral filters like titanium dioxide. So I'm glad that they were very mindful in formulating this. Moving on from that, I just want to say all of these sunscreens were kind of neck and neck with how I liked them. So it was hard to label them in order from favorite to least favorite, but I have to say the next favorite has to be the Derma B Everyday Sunblock SPF 50. This sunscreen, I was actually a little bit surprised about. The packaging reminds me of sunscreen that I used to use as a kid and the smell actually does too. This does also have fragrance in it, but it didn't cause any sensitivity similar to the last one and it wasn't very overpowering. It was a very 
subtle and gentle fragrance. I just have to say, this sunscreen is amazing for so many reasons. One, I love how you get so much of this product for an amazing price. This product retails for $22, but it comes in a very large tube. One of the big things I really want to highlight about this product is it does say that you can use it for your face and your body. That is a huge deal for me just because I know so many skincare brands that try to market their body sunscreens as a whole nother product when the ingredient list is the same as the face sunscreen. And that just makes me be like, okay, well, why would I pay $19 for a face sunscreen and then like $22 for a body sunscreen when it's like more than double the size? I like that this sunscreen was designed for both your face and your body, and it does a really great job at moisturizing your skin. This sunscreen does have some chemical filters in it as well, which I personally don't use a lot of chemical sunscreens, but I do like chemical sunscreens because they are more of a sunscreen that people with darker skin could use. And it's also a sunscreen that I feel like I would want to use. That was another big highlight from this. And so that is why it made the second spot in this list. It has some amazing ingredients in it. It does have fragrance, like I said, so if you are sensitive to that, just be a little bit more careful with it. But other than that, I had a really good experience with this product. The next sunscreen is the Isn't Tree Hyaluronic Acid Watery Sun Gel. This is also an SPF 50 and it was very lightweight. And I just have to say, going back to what I was saying earlier with the website that I use, this one on paper had the most green ingredients with it. With that being said, it also was one of the most hydrating sunscreens for me. I feel like this one and the Derma B were very close. Like I would say they're almost tied for the second place spot in my opinion. It's a really good sunscreen. And I feel like that this one is just a staple. This one's easy. And especially if you like hydrating sunscreens, this one is the one for you. This had a super lightweight texture. It felt really great going on the skin. And another thing that I really liked about it is that it does not cause any acne, which is huge for a high hyaluronic acid product, especially a sunscreen. I cannot tell you how many times I've struggled with hyaluronic acid in sunscreens and in other products causing me to break out. It, it very much depends on the derivative of hyaluronic acid and what it does to my skin based on what else it's formulated with. This product, I just feel like is an ultimately really good sunscreen. It is the most lightweight sunscreen out of every single one that I tried and I had actually actually heard of this sunscreen before and I now understand the hype behind this product. I feel like it was very lightweight and I found myself gravitating to this sunscreen as well. Like I said, a lot of these products were very much neck and neck. Like I had trouble organizing this list because I was like, this one I believe will be amazing for all skin types during the summertime. Because even though it is more of a hydrating sunscreen, it is a watery texture and it feels very very lightweight on the skin and I barely even know that it's there. I really feel like that this one will be the one that I wear whenever it starts to get in the 80s and 90s because it does have such a lightweight texture to it. I feel like this would also wear well under makeup. This product was also fragrance free and I loved that. Like I said, I'm looking at the ingredient list right now and it's like 90% green. It's a really impressive ingredient list. This does also have chemical filters in it, so just take that into consideration as well. But overall, this product was amazing. The top three products in this video are these three products. They're the ones that I gravitate towards the most. Not that I don't gravitate towards the next two, I just feel like they serve a different purpose. The next sunscreen is the Axis Y Complete No Stress Physical Sunscreen SPF 50. So this sunscreen was 100% mineral. One thing completely unrelated to the performance of the product is I love of the packaging it comes in. It's just so unique in my opinion. It's so pleasing to look at. This one definitely has my favorite packaging. It wasn't that I didn't like this product. This product was the one with a little bit more of a white cast to it. So it was something that I didn't find myself wanting to wear as much, but it wasn't 
terrible. It just, it does feel like a mineral sunscreen. On the flip side of that, it is an SPF 50. A lot of mineral SPF 50s that I've tried have felt so suffocating and have felt so greasy on the skin. And that was not the case whatsoever. It did not feel thick on my skin. It did not feel overly dewy. I actually found the sunscreen to be a little bit more matte than the others. It still did do a great job at providing a lightweight protection to my skin. I didn't notice it throughout the day. In my opinion, it does kind of feel like a mineral SPF 30, which is very tolerable to me, especially because it is a SPF 50 mineral sunscreen and it feels this lightweight it is very impressive. It just wasn't something that I gravitated to as much as the other ones. This product is another one that just nailed the ingredients. I feel like this is a very well-rounded mineral sunscreen if that is what you're looking for. It didn't cause any acne even though it has titanium dioxide which great plus for this product because titanium dioxide I I struggle with that so much and I'm very glad that none of the sunscreens that I tried in this video caused any acne. This sunscreen was just it did feel like a mineral sunscreen and that's not necessarily a bad thing. I just gravitated towards the other sunscreens more than I did this one but I still feel like I would repurchase this product especially for the very affordable price point of it. The final sunscreen was actually the most unique one that I have tried out of this whole video. This is the Scenic Enjoy Super Active Airy Sunstick. This was an SPF 50 sunstick and when I first heard sunstick, I'm not gonna lie, I thought deodorant. It looks like a deodorant bottle, but I, I was really making fun of it. But then I stood corrected when it came time to reapply my sunscreen. And that is the exact reason why I fell in love with this product. I am not a huge fan of having my first application be this sunscreen. This sunscreen does have some essential oils in it. So just being mindful of that when purchasing. I tried applying it as my first sunscreen and I'm not gonna lie, I get impatient, but this sunstick is so easy. I've started carrying a tote bag lately because it, I don't know, it makes me feel like I am somebody. I feel so cool just throwing this in my tote bag. And whenever like I need to reapply my sunscreen, I just pull out my little sunstick and just start going all over my face. It is so easy to reapply this sunscreen. Now, as for the finish of this sunscreen, out of the lineup of all of these other sunscreens, it was definitely the dewiest finish. It felt the thickest on the skin, but it did smell good. The essential oil was really good. There's definitely a stronger fragrance in this product. This one, in my opinion, feels the most like an SPF 50 because you can kind of feel it when you're feeling your skin. On the other side of that, it's not overly suffocating. It is just a little bit more heavy. Like I said, where this product really shines is in the reapplication. I have always struggled to find a product that I'm like, yes, I want to reapply this because throughout the day, I don't always have access to soap and water where I can wash my hands and reapply sunscreen when I need to. So with this sunstick, it's very easy just to go all over my face and not have to worry about using my hands and not have to worry about my hands being dirty and me applying sunscreen with it. But the reason why it's at the bottom of this list is just because I would do my first application with any of the other sunscreens and then my reapplication would be this sunscreen. It definitely serves its purpose and it definitely has purpose in my skincare routine because reapplication is very important for sunscreen especially if you're in the sun very frequently. It did amazing for reapplication and I feel like that's really where this product shines. So anyway I am so glad that I got to try out five new sunscreens for the summertime. I'm very grateful to Stylevana for sending me these. Stylevana has so many amazing sunscreens and skincare products products and beauty products. And so if you are interested in purchasing something from there, make sure you use my code. I would definitely recommend trying out all of these products. I feel like there's no competition with these products because all of them are great for different reasons. Once again, thank you so much to Stylevana. I am beyond grateful that I had this opportunity to try out these sunscreens. And if you are interested in purchasing something from Stylevana, my code is INF10ALEXG.
You can also find that in the description if you want to copy and paste it. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching this video and supporting my content. It really means a lot to me that I am even able to do this and I truly could not do any of this without the support of all of you. And so I'm really grateful for each and every one of you for watching this video and I just really appreciate all of your continued support over this past year and yeah so thank you all so much but anyway if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like this make sure you subscribe because i post new videos every week and i will see you all in the next video